What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike, thanks for joining us, I really appreciate it. So guys, on today's video, we're gonna show you how to set up a home network, just the basics, just the fundamentals. And the reason I created this video is because I had a lot of viewers and subscribers asking a lot of questions about home networks. So I hope this video answers all those questions. So let's get started. Oh, and don't forget, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. All right guys, part one, we're gonna talk about the modem. And whether you have DSL, fiber, or coax, it's all the same. You have a line that comes from the outside of the house, inside the house. For us, it's a fiber line, comes in right here. It goes into our modem. And from the modem, coming out of the modem, is a network cable that goes all the way to our WAN port on our router. Now this line that comes into the WAN port gives our router internet connectivity. All right guys, part two is the router. Now first thing you wanna do with your router is set it up going into the admin settings. And to access those settings, you need to go to your computer that's connected to the router, type in 192.168.1.1. Now, if this is the first time accessing your admin router settings, the password should be admin. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our admin settings. Type in 192.168.1.1. This is your router's home screen. Like I said before, this computer must be plugged into the LAN port on the router with an ethernet cable. If you're a first time user, type in admin for password. This admin screen may look a little bit different than yours, but it should have all these settings. Wi-Fi settings, guest network, media prioritization, parental controls, network map, and even external storage. And to the left is router settings, connectivity, troubleshooting, Wi-Fi settings, and security. So now I'm gonna show you the settings that you need to implement to have a safe, fast, and reliable network. Two things you wanna change right away, turn off your guest network, and if you have children or teenagers, turn on your parental controls. Now, go to the connectivity tab. These are the basic settings, and there's two important things you need to do. First, go to edit router password. This is your admin password, and you wanna change that. Next, you wanna make sure your router firmware updates update automatically, so make sure that box is checked. And one more thing, Make sure the time zone is correct as well. And with my particular router, I can turn on and off my activity lights. So if those lights annoy you, just turn them off. Okay, next is internet settings. And make sure your connection type is DHCP. I have my MTU set to manual and size at 1470, but I recommend setting yours to automatic. And don't worry, I'll make a video explaining how to set this MTU size to the correct value. Okay, next is local network. This is basic information about your host name, IP address, subnet mask, the DHCP server, and address ranges. Next is advanced routing. Make sure NAT is enabled. Network area translation. There's a VLAN tab, and that's more of an advanced setting. I'll post a video about that later. And the last tab, administration. Just make sure your settings match my settings. And make sure to hit apply at the bottom. All right, next tab is Wi-Fi settings. Make sure to change the SSID names. Do not use the default router SSIDs. Now change the passwords and change security mode to WPA3 personal and then follow the rest of my settings. The next tab is Mac filtering and that's an advanced setting. We'll stay away from that one. And the next tab is Wi-Fi protected setup and make sure this is disabled. When this is turned on, you put your router at risk. So keep this off. And the last tab is Wireless Scheduler, and it does what it says it does. You can schedule Wi-Fi to be on or off at certain times. And at this point, hit Apply to save all settings. And the last tab is Security. This one's pretty easy. Just copy my settings to your router settings. The most important setting here is the firewall settings. Make sure they're turned on. Once you're done, hit Apply. And that's it for basic settings on the Wi-Fi router. Now let's go back to the network panel. All right guys, part three. Now we're still gonna talk about the router, but I wanna talk about the router's LAN ports. Now if you have a small home, these four LAN ports should be enough for you. However, if you have a large home with lots of devices, well, that's not gonna do. So to solve this problem, you're gonna need a switch. And a five port or eight port switch will do. We have one right here. Now to get internet connectivity to the switch, simply run a network cable from one of the LAN ports, any port will do, to any port on the switch. So now you've expanded your router from four LAN ports, now up to three LAN ports, plus seven more on the switch, giving you a total of 11 LAN ports. And for most homes, that's plenty of ports. Now that takes us to part four, adding additional switches. Can you do this? 
Absolutely. You see a lot of Cat 6 lines leaving the Switch? Well, they're going to different rooms. And in those rooms, we have additional switches there as well to add more ports. So in each room, I could add a five port switch, theoretically giving me four extra ports for that room. Pretty cool. I could add an eight port switch, giving us seven additional LAN ports if I wanted to. And there is a question about adding too many switches to your network and slowing down your speeds, but that rarely happens. Trust me, I have a lot of switches and our speed is just fine. All right guys, part five is the last thing I wanna talk about, and these are smart home hubs for all your smart devices in your house all your IoT devices. If you take a look at the top of my panel, you can see I have three smart home hubs. I have one for my Lutron switches, I have a Samsung SmartThings home, and a Kivo Plus. All of our hubs here are connected via Cat6 to our switches, making one smooth network. And guys, one last thing I want to talk about is adding a PoE switch, power over ethernet. This ruckus switch is PoE. Now I'm not gonna get deep into this, I just wanna let you know you can add this as well. This is for a different video, but guys, today was all about the basics of setting up a home network. I hope this video helps you understand all of those basics. It's not that difficult. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them right away. And guys, if you liked this video and it was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up and share it. If you love it, hit subscribe. That's what the cool kids are doing. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.